What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. My name's AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Wasteland 3. Snowdrift. Pee on the snow. I, I had to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, now I can... I, I'm going to guess I can throw those at people. Oh, that's funny. Uh, all right. As you can see, I've got uh, a few new uh, members of my squad. I was talking to some people in the comments of uh, the last video. Um, I, I decided... On the recommendation, uh, because, you know, they, they were saying that I was playing a little too wide uh, with my main character. And, and, and I tend to agree with that. Uh, also, I helped the volume levels of everything. I tried to turn down the master volume of the game. It was just uh, coming in pretty hot. Um, I don't know. So if it's too quiet, let me know. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, but they let me know that I'm playing a little too wide with my main character, you know, skill-wise. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to make another couple rangers, kind of fill out my team, and, you know, if I we come across some more interesting companions that we want to bring along, we'll, we'll, you know, do that. If not, you know what, then I can keep these couple rangers that I uh, kind of whipped up. You know, I didn't put a whole hell of a lot of thought into them. They're kind of one-dimensional uh, compared to uh, my character and uh, Jade. But uh, I think they're kind of interesting. Uh, so, first things first, let's introduce you to our new uh, squad mates. We have Nova here. She is our explosives expert. Uh, going shotgun and uh, rocket launcher. Basically, that's what she's going with. Uh, apparently, shotguns don't have their own category in this game. They are under... Uh, small arms, which is weird to me, but uh, it's kind of why she's using the base shotgun and not the uh, wide-out pump shotgun that I get for pre-ordering the game. She'll uh, equip the pump shotgun once I... or uh, equip that pump shotgun once I, you know, get her a uh, point in small arms. Should have read the things more carefully, but, uh, oh well, it happens. Uh, take a look at her attributes she has a decent coordination i decided to go high luck with her i think it would be funny that it you, you know you have your explosives expert i have uh you know always kind of lucking out with stuff i don't know i think that's funny uh you know high awareness to be able to see traps uh, i actually went low strength with her um went uh decent speed decent intelligence and charisma in the toilet mostly because mm, don't need it really with her uh, the because I was kind of thinking of making her kind of like a crazy pyromaniac kind of character, hence why she has the quirk pyromaniac. Uh, she gets uh, 25 bonus to fire damage and explosive damage, but also has a 15% chance to catch on fire when using explosives. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, kind of worked with the character I was building. Uh, she also has the background of explodomaniac. Uh, she's in the Rangers because she loves bombs. Uh, she can join an outfit, uh, an outfit with bigger ordnance, yada, yada, yada. So she gets an extra 15% to explosive damage. So that's kind of her character. Um, oh, yeah. I also forgot. Let's also take a look at her skills. You know, because I also said, um, I, I told the people in the comments I was talking to that I'm going to try and do some, you know, a little different things with this because taking a look at the skills again because I think they grouped some skills together because I think like sneaky shit is a combination of a few different skills it's um it, it, because there's not stealth and well, there's not there, there, sneaky shit to me kind of seems like they mix smart ass with stealth and a few other skills because I, I think the skill list got uh, got got shrunk down from wasteland 2 to 3 uh, so I decided to give her sh sneaky shit Lock picking and explosives, kind of thinking, you know what? She's kind of gonna be like a traps and explosives kind of person. There, that's the focus with her. Um, I'm also gonna put points into uh, small arms because, uh, again, I, you know, need her to be good with shotguns. So uh, as far as perks go, she has explosive perks, uh, duck and cover, uh, fire resistance. Ooh, that could offset the perk, or yeah, that could offset her quirk. Actually. Ooh, Minesweeper's not bad, though. Especially with how little I pay attention. But I think I'm... 
actually going to take duck and cover. So I think that might act, that's probably a smart thing to pull off, especially with the uh, quirk I gave her. So, uh, so yeah, like I said, that is Nova, our explosives expert. And you know what's a what's a team without a medic? So I give to you Reaper, our uh, <laughs> our fun little medic here. Uh, obviously, as you can see by his main weapon, I went brawler with him. I, I thought, you know what, it might be fun to have kind of like a melee character. So I am kind of went, obviously, high strength, high intelligence. So he's a punchy medic. And I gave him an SMG, you know, just in the event he wants to play a little range. You know, eh, charisma, speed, everything else is kind of just at the starting point. I put everything into basically strength, intelligence, and coordination just to keep the AP up. Uh, he gave him the quirk of sadomasochist, so he is a thing for pain, so he delivers 33% extra melee and range damage, but takes 33% damage. I thought that's kind of funny. Uh, he also has lethal weapon, so his melee damage is also boosted another 10%. Uh, so I thought that would uh, be pretty fun. Um, kind of looking into skills, kind of like I said in... Um, when I was talking about Nova's skills, I, I feel that they combined a lot of skills from Wasteland 2 into these skills, like first aid. There used to be, uh, it was first aid and surgery were two separate skills. I kind of think that they mixed them into one with this game. So I, I, I think that, like I said, I think, I think a lot of stuff kind of got uh, combined. I actually like how automatic weapons is apparently um, SMGs and assault rifles when instead it used to be two separate skills. So it's kind of weird, but eh, okay, whatever, it works. Uh, so as far as his skills goes, uh, he's got foreign first aid, uh, you know, makes him good with healing items. He has nerd stuff, so I'm also kind of having him be a hacker in a way. Uh, a two in both automatic weapons and brawling. Uh, this way, even though I know I kind of played a little wide when it came with, uh, with Jade and... Jade, my main character, uh, basically with Jade, she's going to stick with mechanics, um, automatic weapons, toaster repair, just for goofs, uh, weapon modding, and honestly, that point I put in nerd stuff is just kind of going to sit there because she's not going to be our hacker anymore. Um, that was something I put in there when I was thinking, you know what, I'll kind of add people organically, not fill out the team this much off the bat, but I'm now thinking about it. Now it's probably smart to do it this way. Uh, and with our main character, Obviously, we're going to keep kiss ass. We're going to keep leadership, uh, small arms, sniper rifles, animal. I, I get pretty much any of the talky skills. I mean, just because I think they're all kind of useful for him. Um, and obviously, small arms, sniper rifles, because those are my weapons. I'm going pistol, pistol rifle. Uh, but as far as lock picking and sneaky shit, I might put a little bit into sneaky shit with him just because again he's more of our uh, for the talky bonuses because he is kind of our talking kind of character mix that with uh, with him being the sniper rifle i usually like to get the first hit in with him uh from a distance so uh, my main character is probably going to play a little wide i not much i can do about that just because of the way i have him built or just the way i use my main character because he's kind of a mixture of three or four different classes is what it is but you know we'll make do so, uh, so far, I kind of like this team composition that I've got so far. So, let's take a look here. Uh, he's got a good couple things he can build perks in. Uh, what was this one? When an ally is down to battle, gain 10 combat speed. Oh, that's cool. Rob, uh, robot to hack uh, will now be attacked by other enemies. Okay. Surprise, I can fly in your organs. Shaolin Surprise, a crippling prowling attack that penetrates through target's defense. For every one combo meter built up, provides two armor penetration. Actually, I think, yeah, I'm going to take that. Really make him a good, uh, a good brawler. Uh, did I give them? I did not, now that I think about it. All right, what... Uh, what weapons to give you, Aura? Trying to think here. There we go. Give her the med hypo. Uh, 
Try the med hypo as well as. I'm trying to find another good weapon to throw. You know what? Here, take the yellow snowballs. I think that's funny. Just because, again, I'm thinking of her as like a crazy, bubbly explosive. Kind of like Tiny Tina from uh, from Borderlands. There we go. So I think that's funny. Um, obviously, give him the med hypo. And you know what? There you go. You can you can be a smoker. I just I I, lo I love the weird duality of this character. He's a <laughs> he's an aggressive kind of meathead brawler, but also the team medic who smokes. I I don't know. I just think that's funny. Yeah, I think that does that not look like a drug from Fallout? Like that was just kind of ripped off. Just, just me. Uh, no, don't use the item on self. I'm trying to think. Sorry. Do I... I'm trying to think how to use... You know what? Actually, instead of that, might as well just give him the... Yeah, the med kit, because he can actually use the med kit. Ah, where the hell is she? There we go. Oh, sw okay. That also gives heal over time. Dope. All right. Well, now it's time to take this team as I have taken this time to uh, explain my new squad. Let's take them out and give them their first little... Uh, Little taste of combat. Sorry, it kind of took so long to kind of give you the rundown there. I just wanted to wanted to make sure I I gave my uh, my team a proper little introduction. What you what you doing down there? Sitting here flicking one of my cat's ears. Now he's looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Leave me alone. Oh, I love my cats. They're, uh, they're crazy, but, you know, they're fun. God damn it, AJ, stop playing with your microphone. Sorry. I'm just like sitting here just like slowly turning the dial just going no that's a little too low that's a little too high like I just I, I can't find that uh, that that perfect medium because you know volume control is very difficult for me just naturally with my voice because I'm just kind of a loud person. And I'm, you know, and I'm afraid to put my microphone too far away from my face, you know. So, you know, I, I've got basically just the, what I was taught to do uh, when I worked in radio, you know, about a fist away from your face. And it's a, it's a whole thing. I'm, basically, what I'm telling you guys is I'm losing my goddamn mind. It also doesn't help that I, you know, I worked last night. I got home. I couldn't sleep. So it's like six in the morning now. I've been sitting, basically looking up at the ceiling trying to sleep, so I'm tired, but I'm not sleepy. Oh, I forgot it was Labor Day weekend. Basically, when you work at a casino, you learn holiday weekends for normal people is a busy work weekend for you. That's a named character. Please, so. you don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Yeah, we work for anyone who needs our help. Oh, I need your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Yeah, what? Uh, who's your son? He's the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. 
He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never of me. hurt anyone. I don't know why that joke seemed funny to me. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. It wasn't even a Sometimes joke. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger eh, whatever. than your mother. I know that much. Like I said, I'm in a I'm in a really weird like mental place right now. I really don't give a shit what the story is, in all honesty. Okay, yeah, pile. Oh, goody, a pile of corpses. That's that's a you know you know it's a party when when there's a pile of corpses. What's that? Uh, what's what, what's that line from Family Guy? Nothing says obey me like a bloody head on a stake. Or is it respect well, me or fear me? I can't. Remember. You ain't seen the last of us. How does it feel now? The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps Sorry, back to reality. I didn't, I didn't mean to ignore you. I just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. I know this is serious, but I can't help but looking at Major Tomcat. Because one, his name is Major Tomcat. Oh, it's so adorable. And look at his little hat and his scarf. Oh my god. If my cat wouldn't tear that off, I'd, I'd put that on my, my cat. I, he has he has like a little hat. He's got like a little hat that looks like an open shark's mouth. He doesn't like that very much. Generally, I put it on him when he's bad, and, and he tears it off and runs away from me. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. Oh yeah, because those are usually the most understanding in, of individuals. <laughs> People Nothing here against the religious, happen. just like saying. Starved to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food, and some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. You got a daring no, escape plan? I was never no desperado. Don't rattle it. Desperado. Let myself get caught up in this. Sorry. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. He shivers. I mean, is wasn't this a wasn't this a Star Trek episode where you know the they they it was a I think it was a Next Generation episode. They landed on that planet where uh, the punishment for any crime was death. I wonder if it'll hurt. Probably. Well, I mean, until you get frostbite, and then it just you probably won't feel anything because you know of all the nerve damage. Or Wish death. I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Thank you, Quan. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Shoot everybody in the face. Gotcha. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work. If you'll have me. I smell companion. Oh, I guess useful I used skills. To hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun, either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Rarely does. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. 
Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Yeah, it doesn't look... I thought it yeah, was it doesn't seem harsh. like the punishment fits what crime. What happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I, I can't take the chance. Nice talking to you. Murderers! Alrighty, then. Let's, let's talk to the magistrate. That's a hard word to say. The dour man looks out at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. His, uh, sallow, I don't know, skin pulls tight over his face, and his thin lips press together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? You're not helping. Although I don't think he was trying to. Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. I didn't kill anyone. What's with, yeah, what's with the pillories? Nah, I really don't care His about the pillories. Are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Well, I guess my argument would be, was that why he did it? Did he do it? to do, Or did they just say break some windows? He thought he just didn't think through the ramifications of breaking the windows. I mean, look, I, you want to say, well, AJ, it's not ethical to have pillories. True, but this is also a post-apocalyptic world situation. A lot of ethical rules kind of, you know, we kind of play a little fast and loose with those sometimes. So, frankly, the pillories I really don't give a shit about. As long as it's, you know, the right people. That sounds really bad, but you, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I do not have enough kiss ass for that. What if the Rangers were to pay for his damages? Assume guardianship over the boys. Not a bad kid. Uh, he's too young for a death sentence. Uh, yeah, what if the Rangers you pay for his damages? You compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Understand that the law cannot wait until you have the means to pay. The boy will go to the pillory soon. His time mercy. <laughs> I do not see the word in my um. law books. Proceed. Indeed. Bastards! All right, I'm assuming I can't do anything Let with that away! until I, you know, have the money. Maybe I could have the money if I could, uh, Scum! you know, sell some shit. Murderers! Yeah, there we go. I keep trying to left click to move. I hope you die slow. <laughs> All right. Apparently, there's a drunk in there. We should build some more watchtowers <laughs> around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. All right, that's Sheriff Daisy. We'll need to pull some resources from another district to do it. Uh, Sheriff won't like that. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. Um. Nah. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a Let's form. See what this Wesson <gasps> tricks about. Marshals, finally! I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Well, hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Are <laughs> you always this rude? It's maddening. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. Yeah, what exactly is, uh, yeah, we're the Arizona Rangers, well, we could help. You look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. 
show you show her your your badges. You know those those badges that pretty much hold no weight out here. No, thanks all the same. But I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authority. Sheriff Daisy, I will not. Please put in a word to the sheriff for me. If she'd only lend me a marshal or two, I'd rescue my family myself. Oh, hell, I'll do it if you just let me. All right, looks like some sort of interrogation room. Yeah. I heard a sound. Was that considered stealing? I, d I don't know if that was stealing. I really hope it wasn't. Speaking of which, can I get inside this armory here? I could. Oh well, that's a that's a thing to do at a later date. We ain't gonna pay for We ain't. We extra, got extra you. cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. Oh my god, it's another cat. Young guard's face is nervous, but the he steps forward as you I approach. I order the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Yeah, of course it's his palace. Good day. All right. Basically, what I'm looking for right now is don't I'm looking for turn it, Martha. Why else would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys. They won't be scared of a scrawny old. Concern it, you Dorsey peckerheads! Get on out of there. Uh, the old man is shouting into the nearby shop and waving a shotgun around. Now, Josiah, you can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Uh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. When she notices you, an expression of relief crosses Will her face. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Yeah, what's going All on those here? Those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. Yeah, why don't you Thanks. let us handle it? Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? He shakes his head and then turns to you. This. You'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Hey, look, man, as long as I can sell the junk that I'm carrying. I don't see anybody. Let's get the whole team up here, though. But I want to kind of... We thought there we go. You was all dead. Back off! Can I talk to him? Are they letting me position? Like, what the hell's going on here? I done told you! Don't come any closer! No, <laughs> oops, I... Uh, oh! Nah, you're right. We're gone. Oh, I did not... Oh, that's cool. Uh, if you're... We're if gone. you're... If you're, uh, you're trying to figure out what just went through my stupid head, uh... I thought because I led with Nova that 
the uh, the dialogue options wouldn't be there. But no, I still get the dialogue options no matter who's the lead character. So, because my main character has two or three points in, in uh, Kiss Ass, I can still choose that option. Oh, okay. So, that's how the, those checks work. That's nice. Uh, that's, a, that's a change from uh, Wasteland 2. Because I think in Wasteland 2, you actually had to be controlling that particular character. So, basically, it may, meant that you always had to control your, uh, your Pocky character from the start. Interesting. Huh. Nice get up. Okay. Phew, that was boy. a weird quest, a but for taking care of little right. horses. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. And here, a little token of our Come on back after we reopen the shop. How much cash do I have on hand? Um 141 Colorado dollars. Come on back after I open up my shop. I don't I don't know a hundred percent what we just did, but okay. Apparently I talked to some guys. Yeah, I, I talked to some guys. Uh <laughs> basically said, you guys don't want to fight us. And then they left. This here's Market Square. Snapping Jimmy Bob still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's? New faces? Let me know if you need to restock. Okay. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. Yeah, hey, what's a contraption? Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix. Let's. All right, so now I'm going to assume is that is that branded? Is that is that really Snickers? Is that anyone anyone else? Is that frozen ferret? Gross. Ooh, I can buy smokes. Chips Ahoy, really? Okay. Ooh, I would like a lot of that 762 ammo. It's about a dollar a bullet. Oh, okay. I didn't realize the uh, sell junk command. I had a lot of junk. All right, I got 295 right now. I'm sitting on. I'm trying to remember what my shotgun takes. You know what? Frankly, yeah, I don't need. Oh, okay, there we go. I got a, I got a right click. I can sell a lot of this. generic equipment that I don't need. I'll keep my you know, I'll keep my fancy um, pre-order guns. But I will Let's see here. I'll take about Wish it wasn't just a slider, like I could actually pick the exact amount I want. There we go. Eh, it costs a little bit more than I thought, but yeah, I'll still take about 30 rounds of that. I'll take, uh... The same, actually, I'll take about... Twenty rounds. There we go. Of that, and I'll save the rest because I want to try and buy that kid's freedom. Um, that microwave. So, is it a problem with the city or the microwave itself? Okay, I think I think he said it was the problem with the city. So, this is the Market Square. Yeah, I'm kind of using this chance to explore Colorado Springs. 
Okay, so it's a, some sort of museum. Jesus, loaves and pile Jesus of corpses, Christ. fantastic. That's a bomb under my stall, ain't it? Oh, oh shit! Wait, what? Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. I want Jones. Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Yeah, I don't have that. Can you still sell me some gear? Oh, thank God! You'd be doing me a shell of a favor. All right, Nova, this is why we created you. Boom. Wish I could get these Flipper and Marshalls to take care of the dang bomb under my stall. Really? That's great news. I'm back in business. Uh, what do you to the sell? Freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, Franz. But word is, there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Yeah, what's I with the ocean puns? What you're talking about, Franz. Okay. Sardine Lee. No, she sells guns. Okay. Rattler, semi-auto pistol. Okay. Ooh. Hello. If I had money, I'd think about buying you army revolver. Actually, some decent weapons here. Again, if I had the cash right now, I'd probably buy some weapons. Uh, oops, wrong button. My bad. God damn it. Leave me alone, game. I'm gonna guess... Yep, casino. God damn it, game. I do this... Uh, I, I do this on my own time. I don't want to go to a casino in my, in my free time. Unshaven and slovenly, uh, Marshall Lipinski shifts his uh, unlit, half-smoked cigar to the corner of his I mouth. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Don't take that tone of voice with the Rangers, Lupinski. Or what, Quan? You gonna arrest me? Fine, fine. What do you want? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms. And now those fucking doors. Sheriff Daisy say so. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. All right, dickhead. I'm just exploring anyways. Sorry, I'm just kind of kind of looking around, seeing what there is the seeing what there is to see over there. Boss said we're closed till further notice. Aw, I want to go clubbing. Let's use this intercom. Crackles, woman's voice What's address you. Don't you know the city's on lockdown? I'm not opening. Go away. All right. I got a feeling that, uh, we can't get a. Hey, take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. I was gonna say. I'm gonna guess we don't have full reign in the city until we uh, clear out the Dorsey's at the uh, Garden of the Gods. Colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill him, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance! We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from Marshus no more. All right, game on, gamers. Taking shelter. <gasps> Major Tomcat. Taking the shot. 
Retreat, little buddy. I like I like his <laughs> his little ready position. How dare you hurt Major Tomcat? Yeah, let's go after the leader. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, no, it wasn't. That's what you get for attacking Major Tomcat. You will learn to respect his authority. All right, who to shoot in the face? Right, that's how shotguns work in this game. They work kind of like a, uh, they work with a cone. I forgot about that. Gee, she's got a lot of AP. Although, I guess that's kind of how I built her. To be entirely fair. All right, let's start punching. Dick. <laughs> That's right, shoot at Nova. The target. Don't you dare shoot. Don't. You piece of garbage. You actually shot at Major Tomcat again. Major Tomcat, you should have gone after the other guy. I want to train him in tactical awareness. Uh, uh, I don't have enough AP. Gee, she's got 10? Uh, well, I guess that works. I guess I should also see that that's a uh, two round uh, two round tube or whatever. This here, uh, the shotgun. And yes, I can attack in a diagonal. With the money. Point and taking a shot with him. Survived another one. That's right. And don't you dare ever think about hurting Major Tomcat again. I was, I was about to ask, is bleed a, uh, a timed effect, or... Alright, let's open this up. I've got one point. Um, 
I feel like intelligence might be a good idea. I'll give her intelligence. As far as skills go... Just keep going into toaster repair. Um, I'm not sure how much weapon modding I'm going to do. I mean, I'll, I might do some down the road, but yeah, for now. You know what? Let's make her a little more dangerous on the weapons side. And perks. Puncturing shot. Didn't I? Did I pick up puncturing shot? I can't remember. No, I did not. I don't think I... Did I purchase a perk with her? Huh. Uh, enemies have 25% less cover. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'll take... Uh, I'll take that. I think that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good perk. And what's in this dumpster? All right, Major Tomcat, we got something for you. Eh, I'm not happy about those bones, but... Seven six twos. All right, you know what? Not a bad haul. Can I give her that shotgun? Nope, needs better small arms. I I don't. I don't even know what to do with that. Okay, this will lead us back into... Okay, I know where that will lead us back into. Apparently there's animatronics in there. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? I'm trying to think, can I... Can I get in there and steal that gun? Why this place just gives me a just a really eerie vibe. Flex scope, not bad. Better crit chance. Brainwave destabilizer. Okay. Frag grenade. Gutter snake aeon. Okay. I'll probably go through all that stuff a little bit in between videos. Just to make sure that's a real corpse. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's head back out to the main square. Let's ignore the corpse. What was I saying? Uh, I'll probably go through a lot of those weapons I pick up 
a little later. If you can't tell, my concentration is really all over the place right now. Like I said, I kind of... Dozens killed by Dorsey thugs. What was I saying? Uh, I kind of <laughs> got back to work, got back from work, couldn't sleep, and this is what I'm doing to kill the time until I uh, can go to sleep. So I gotta go to work again tonight. I don't know where that uh, that spot will take me. Bastards! No mercy on your souls, Colorado. Let's go back and talk to the magistrate. Ladies, what brings you here? Excellent. This is the cost in Colorado dollars. He takes the money, writes a receipt for you, and jots a note in a battered ledger. He tucks the ledger back this into his robes. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. No Dorsey, great stop! No great vengeance! Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's go talk to his mom. Coming for you all. It's not fair. You rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. I'm curious, can I see the last of us? Huh. Oh, I'm gonna guess I can't add that member because I'm not back at I'm not I'm not at base. I can't just add them willy-nilly okay i guess it's a good thing i i'm gonna see what's in here what was i saying i guess i said i guess it's a good thing that i coming to the machine shop if not then fuck off um all right well at least now we know what it is it's machine shop well i guess i really Dorsey don't have a reason stop. to go in and talk to him so Let's talk to the sheriff. The sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying blonde hair and a st and steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid. So I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good. And the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. What? What's all that? What's his reward? Is that... I don't know. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Question, then shoot. And I'm glad to hear it. The job's easy enough, if you like using bullets. Oh, now, you know I do. From the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get them out of there alive, or... And please, take young Miss Weston with you. I need that girl out of my hair. In fact, I'm gonna insist. I'm telling Lupinski not to let you into the garden without her. But don't worry. 
she knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Yeah, because that makes you good at using it. You know, I'd, I'd hate for her to be holding it up, you know, with the, with the barrel pointed towards her. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Wah. I know that's the Marines, but Not whatever. Sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but well, beggars can't be choosers. Yet when I, I talked to you, Miss whatever Wesson she spoke of, Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. Yeah, that doesn't mean much of jack shit to me. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them, all of them. So, I am ready when you are. I was told I get to go in and shoot people. That's, I, I was, I was that. <laughs> She's making a joke. She knows very well that my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in this city. You may ask anyone. Everybody knows what I can do. The way she speaks is a little odd. I don't know. I can't put my, fi my finger on it, but. At last. Oh, let's go. Um, all right. Well, it looks like she's the sixth member of our team. What she got? She's got a, uh, okay, her own uh, named revolver. Dope. Might also train her up in knives, because she, she'll probably be... Actually, uh, let's take a look. What are her... What's What she got here? High awareness, speed, intelligence... Skills, small arms, weapon modding, survival. Okay. Okay, cool. I think she's got some interesting skills. I still... I'm gonna, I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit. You know, why, am I, why am I making this complicated? Just quick save. Nobody's gonna say. I love how the. I I love I love how cigarettes are considered like a meta like a medicine or something. Hello RPG. I'm gonna guess I have to do some weapon shuffling. Nice to know that I didn't get the, you know, everybody mad at me for breaking in there. Um, but I'm gonna have, probably have to do some weapon shuffling to be able to equip uh, weapon mods and whatnot. Sees that palace gates, patriarch alive and safe. Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front.
much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them. Marshal yeah, Lupinski, yeah, yeah. I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. Nope. You're no help. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. You know what? We're about to go through a load screen and everything. I actually think that, uh, and plus I think we're at about the hour mark. Probably a little over. Um, I think exploring Colorado Springs, given our uh, our new little team. You know, we got a little bit of combat here. Uh, and we'll uh, get into even more in the next video. I want to say as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. More next time. Until then, my name is JJ Gales. The Something Game Channel. I'm out.